Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Terranova Tech, and a little while back, I made this. There we go. It's a little bit of a lag time, but boom, it's done. 50 seconds. <laughs> and although that caught some attention, I actually stumbled across this video here that has 6 million views, and I was wondering why, and I actually gave it a look, and I watched the video, and I'm just gonna say this right up front, I am not as intelligent as this man, but my computer might be. See, I watched this guy struggle for 25 minutes. Well, it wasn't more of a struggle. It was solving it. He was going through the motions and solving this Sudoku puzzle as best as he could. In about 25 minutes, he solved a Sudoku puzzle that only contained four numbers. And I got to thinking, could I build a program to solve it as well? And if I did, what would the computer do? So I'm actually curious. There's a couple things I want to check, and I'm just going to say this right up front. I don't think the computer is going to yield the same results because he put a couple of extra stipulations in this video. But it is interesting because with only four numbers, you can actually have multiple solutions. So the first curiosity is to see if this thing can actually solve it, or will my computer break? I actually don't know. I don't know if it can solve it. It should be able to solve it, but I am not 100% sure. And also, what is the result that it will give? And if we run it multiple times, will it give different results? Results. Probably not just by the nature of it, but who knows? Let's give it a try. So the code is actually up for public grab on my GitHub if you want to grab it. Um, it's basically, it's actually not that large, 80 lines of code. And we can import that into our Visual Studio code. And um, I had to run or find a different program for this um, other than the Sudoku.com one. So I found this, which is just a blank grid that, that allows me to create the same Sudoku puzzle that he has and it will actually work with my auto GUI program. Um, so let's do that. Let me copy this over. So we have a three, an eight, and a four in this cell here. And then we have, let me go back to the beginning here, a two in the, in the bottom right corner, and that's it. I mean, this is ready to go. Let's see, let's see if I can uh, import this here and, and give it a try. I actually didn't think I was gonna be doing Sudoku puzzles anymore, but here we are. So if you haven't watched my video on the Sudoku solve already and you're kind of lost in what's going on here, I actually break it down in that video. You can click the link up in that direction and uh, and watch the full video if you would like. But just to give you kind of a brief rundown of what's going on here, essentially um, we press play and in our terminal we put in the rows. Blanks are zero, so if I had a row that was like zero, one, two, three, I would do zero one two three and then a couple blanks i do zero zero and then a couple blanks i do zero zero and then maybe like a five so on and so forth so let me delete this that's kind of a rundown of what's going to happen in this case it's going to be like 99 percent zeros so let's see what we get uh, we'll press play and we'll do nine zeros okay row one complete And two. Okay. Moment of truth, guys. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I actually haven't run this on this at all. So <laughs> this might actually just break it. Who knows? All right. Ready? Whoa. What is happening? Whoa. What? what was that? That was weird. Okay. So it's already incorrect. We know that much. That was weird. Uh. Okay. Okay. Actually, I should have I should have known this, but that didn't work. <laughs> uh, so the way the program is written <laughs> is um, it's sort of like a try, like one, and if that doesn't work, then then two, and then three, and then four, so so on and so forth. But it does have some backtracking backtracking in there. Excuse me. Um, however, since the full first row is nothing, it just put one through nine in. <laughs> okay. Um, Interesting. So I do have a more function where it, it resolves. So let's see what happens when we do more. Um, it's skipping numbers. Why is it doing that? Um, so that puzzle actually just broke my program. What? What? All right, I didn't think I'd have to do this. I thought this was gonna be a two minute video. I'm gonna have to dig into the code. I'm figuring this out.
Okay. Here's the deal. There is a extremely deep rabbit hole of solving Sudoku puzzles with Python that uh, I think I just got a headache. Um, here's the deal, though. There is a Sudoku uh, dependency that you can install, and I've decided that I'm going to install it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to run it. If it doesn't work, I'm giving up on this for now. <laughs> Simply because I don't have hours to spend coding this. So, here's the code. Uh, let me move this down a little bit. Boop, there you go. Um, it's not much going on here, and I had to scrap the whole uh, auto-input thing. Um, so it's not going to automatically, auto-magically fill in the board. Um, I didn't want to mess around with it. Uh, it would be very difficult to do anyway right now. Um, but here we go. So let's replicate the puzzle. Whoa, that was quick. Solved. Wait a second. What? That's actually solved. Wait a second. Okay, his is obvious. Okay, I can already tell his is different. Well, actually, he might change it at the end. This is a seven now. Beautiful puzzle. That's quite... He says it's a difficult puzzle. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, his solution is different. I have 836. He has 843 in the top left. But... Take a screenshot, if you guys want, of this puzzle. That is correct. Or that, I should say, it's a valid puzzle. But like I said in the very beginning, he had different stipulations. So he's got 1 through 9 in the diagonals and some chess move in there as well. But... It's doable. You can do it in Python, and it is instant. You guys saw it. I hit enter, and it was like, boom, done. That is interesting. Wow. I have the utmost respect for this guy now. Like, genuinely, what I just did was not smart. It was research and luck. <laughs> what this guy is doing, absolute genius. If you like the video, hit like. Uh, subscribe if you'd like, and there'll be more videos like this coming. See you guys.